Hello everyone, uh, we're CGTN, uh, we're live streaming from uh, Singapore's Gardens by the Bay today. Um, Gardens by the Bay is uh, one of the iconic sites, uh, tourist sites in Singapore. Uh, here we have uh, the super tree, uh, I'm not sure if you can see, my cameraman's got tilted for you. Uh, it is uh, very tall. And As you can see, the glass dome, there are two places. One is called the flower dome, and inside it's temperature controlled. And then they also have like a waterfall. Uh, so it's a, it's, a, it's a park that's a, a unusual. It's rather unusual because other parks, you're, you're in this tropical heat. But here at the Gardens by the Bay in the flower dome, the temperature is very pleasant. It's around 20 uh, degrees uh, Celsius. But today, we're actually not here to uh, show you the flower domes or the super tree, all these iconic uh, Singapore landmarks. Today we have a very special guest. Uh, it's Singapore's uh, uh, security robot. Where is he? Where is Strobo? Strobo, where are you? Okay, he was supposed to walk over to me, but let's walk to him. Here, this is um, a Strobo uh, a security uh, robot. He is actually has quite a bit, bit of a fame in Singapore. Uh, he became instantly famous last November during the ASEAN summit, where uh, the world, uh, Southeast Asian leaders came to Singapore have their annual summit. Uh, also, a Chinese uh, uh, Premier Li Keqiang was here, and there was also other world leader, Canadian Prime Minister. Trudeau was here. So he was patrolling uh, outside of the summit uh, uh, at the SunTech Sun Convention Center. Um, so he, uh, he is, of course, he works as a, a security guy, but the, the, uh, the plus side is he's never tired because he's a robot. Uh, and um, don't be fooled by his uh, cute look. Um, he's, uh, uh, he's, he's, he has uh, six eyes. Uh, he has six cameras all around him, uh, and inside he he can this part his head can actually see uh, uh, from a bird's eyes perspective, and he has a thirty a three hundred and sixty degree full viewpoint of his surroundings. Can Strobel make some move now? Ooh. So we're gonna, he's going to patrol some of the areas in Gardens by the Bay. So the idea is that uh, there, there are, uh, of course, CCTVs around the park, but there are CCTV blind spots with a mobile uh, security robot. It can cover those CCTV blind spots and go to areas that uh, CCTV uh, cannot, uh, there's no CCTV set up. Um, oh, see, there's some Chinese tourists here, and uh, he's a, the robot uh, security guard. Is is of course uh, uh, attracted some attra attention. So Strobo, uh, actually we've sort of gathered some tourists and visitors uh, around us. <laughs> So while he's moving, he is uh, constantly taking all the data around him. He's taking pictures. He's, he can also hear any uh, distress sound, any sound that's not supposed in that area. Oh, see, he's going to move up his head. The mask can goes up uh, as tall as two meters, I was told by ST Engineering, who's the, the developer of a Strobo security ro uh, robot. Can his head turn around as well? So I noticed that there is a button here. It, it, it says press to call. And I was told uh, that uh, 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 although the main purpose of this uh, robot is, uh, is security, uh, but it, uh, it, uh, some tourists, if there's someone lost, and they can press this button and in the back, and there will be someone talking to you and tell you what you need. You, do you need any help or anything? Are we continuing? And of course, uh, it will sense uh, obstacles in front of it, and it will not bump into any visitors.
So currently, Strobel uh, is on a trial uh, in Gardens by the Bay. It was at ASEAN Summit last November, as I mentioned, and it was also on trial at some MRT stations. Uh, MRT is the underground, uh, the subway systems in Singapore. Gardens. Gardens by the Bay uh, is uh, a must-see for uh, visitors come to Singapore. It is also a place that has been showcasing quite a lot of Singapore's uh, achievement in automation and AI. Uh, last time we actually did a story here was about uh, 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 an unmanned vehicle. So there is an unmanned vehicle here that takes tourists from uh, spot A to spot B. And uh, today we have the a robot security guard here. Later on, we're, <laughs> we're going to speak to some of the tourists. As you can see, people Hello. are taking photo. <laughs> Hello. You're taking photo. Do you know what this is? Good morning. Yeah, Good morning. Hi. Are you a visitor yeah. to Singapore? Yeah. Do you, do, what do you think this is? I think it's a... It's it's giving water <laughs> to everybody. Giving what? Water. Giving water to everyone. That's a good function. Yeah. It's actually a security guard. Oh, security guard. Right. So uh, there's six cameras built inside, and he's listening to our conversations. Oh. He's checking the surroundings, uh, if anyone needs help. And he it also has a facial recognition function. Oh. Yeah. But you have a really good point. Uh, you yeah, uh, you look like giving, you're thirsty. It's, it's <laughs> you can. Water we will anything. feed back to the, to the yes, inventors. Good. If anybody needs water, thirsty. Yeah. Can yeah. Water, please. <laughs> but do you? Uh, do, so you, 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 you. Do you think it's uh, like in the future? Do you, do you? It does that enhance your visitors' experience? Yeah, and yeah, seeing sure, a robot sure, sure, sure. in the garden. Where it's are you excellent. from? We're from Philippines. Philippines, yeah. yeah. And what do you think about robots? Uh, uh, you know, taking functions. yeah functions, taking human jobs in the future, in a sense, right? No, they are not taking the human jobs only, but they are helping the human. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They are helping the human because uh, human human functions will be uh, only in a small area, but the robots can. And monitor big area. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It frees up humans yeah. to do more yeah, yeah. crucial and important he, jobs. He will not take the human job. He will just help the human. Right, right. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank in the Philippines, do you, uh, do you see many you know development uh, only, in the I saw, automation? I saw only here in the schools. In schools, what, what, school. what do they do there? In they school? are uh, designing like this, but right? Not, but not in actual. Maybe they're selling outside. Of right, them. right, right. Enjoy your stay in okay, Singapore. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. Yeah. Bye bye, Strobo. Bye bye, Strobo. Um, <laughs> as, uh, the visitor is absolutely right. Strobo can go to uh, air further. Are we going to other areas? Are we? Okay. So maybe we can just sneak peek. Someone is uh, remoting the Strobo. But uh, Strobel can uh, patrol on its own as well, right? So, but today we just want to show you. Um, so, speaking of uh, Singapore's uh, effort in uh, automation and in robotics, so we have to talk about the Smart Nation Initiative. It started uh, at the end of 2015, uh, and then uh, they set up this national robotics program where the government uh, pledged 400. Fifty million dollars to uh, encourage both private sectors and public sectors to uh, do more research and and uh, in the robotic uh, industry. And since then, we've seen quite a lot of development in many sectors. Uh, first of all, of course, you have uh, robots in the manufacturing sector uh, helping uh, to lift uh, uh, heavy stuff that humans cannot do. And then more and more, you see robots in a different industry, like in service sector. Because in Singapore, it's an Asian uh, society, uh, and the birth rate is also one of the lowest uh, in the in the world. Um, so we we have a very uh, severe labor crunch, a labor shortage, as they put it here. Um, so 
automation robotics can be a solution uh, for Singapore's future. Uh, in service sectors, we've seen uh, robots uh, uh, in hospitals and deliver med medicines to patients. So that later on, the nurses can check, uh, but uh, it's, it helps uh, to cut down the numbers of uh, human nurses that they need. Uh, we also see robots uh, uh, serving dishes uh, as the waiters and waitresses in restaurants. Um, uh, that, that's hotel. Uh, so, uh, also in the hotels, a lot of the robots are working as clean, cleaners, and they can do your housekeeping. Um, it, it, you can continue. Yeah, uh, we can we can take you along uh, and, and discuss uh, all these. Uh, uh, so we're talking about service sector, manufacturing sector, and another function they're trying to develop is in the construction sector. Um, recently, we we. Uh, spoke to a research center, they, they invented, a, a Singapore scientist invented a, th a robot that can 3D print uh, concrete structures uh, uh, in concert and that's a breakthrough because usually a 3D printers uh, uh, can only print uh, a certain size of the concrete but if you have multiple uh, robots printing at the same time uh, and they can go to uh, areas that uh, human workers cannot go so that's uh, quite a breakthrough. Hello. Hi. 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 Are you interested in Strobo? Yeah, uh, I see it. Do uh, you know what is it for? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so some people say it can be a water dispenser, but oh, okay. it's actually no. It's actually a security guard. It's a oh. robot uh, security guard. Um, it uh, in fact has uh, six built-in cameras inside, mm -hmm. and it has facial recognition function uh, again goes to areas where there are CCTV blind spots. Okay. Um, well, are you a visitor or are you a Singaporean? Uh, this is my first time to go here. In Singapore. Yeah, in Singapore. Where are you from? Me from Indonesia. From Indonesia. Yeah. Uh, in Indonesia do you see robots uh, roaming uh, around the for street? For now I don't see. Mm -hmm. Just here the first time I saw it. So to, you just saw it today? Yeah. Ah, what, do you, what do you think? Uh, very inter interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you want to know about it? The function just to security, just just this. Just security. For now, it's security. Yeah. Oh, okay. What do you wish it to do more? Like just now, we had a visitor from the Philippines. He said, "Oh, I wish it can give me some water." Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what I would say, I don't know. Just does it does it bo does it bother you? Does it how, uh, make you feel this uh, enhance your visiting experience, or you think, oh, I don't want to be around? What do you feel? I feel do amazing. <laughs> I don't know. I hope I don't know what I must say. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Uh, enjoy your visit. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, so, uh, as I mentioned, Strobo is still uh, in trial here at Gardens by the Bay, uh, so we won't be able to take you to many different areas. So this is the main area that we're going to show you, and it looks like uh, uh, visitors surely have a lot of interest in, in them. And as I mentioned earlier, Singapore is going big in its uh, uh, automation and robotics programs. Uh, we've seen more and more uh, First, it's to target, uh, to try to solve the problem of uh, uh, labor crunch. But moving forward, it, it's going to be in, in many different sectors, in the manufacturing, in, in healthcare, uh, in the service sectors. Um, so in, in the, at the same time, it's trying to solve the aging population problem. At the same time, they're also not forgetting the old people. I've also seen uh, robotic applications in helping elderly. Uh, for example, there was a robot. Uh,
For example, I, I, I know there is a robot uh, working as a physiotherapist to help uh, elderly to, to do exercise. So uh, at the same time, it is trying, trying to uh, solve the aging population labor shortage issue. At, at, on the other hand, it is also helping the aging population. So going forward, although in some countries, uh, robots have been seen uh, as a threat, uh, they are taking over human jobs. But here in Singapore, it seems like um, it, it is the solution uh, for this society going forward, and we've seen uh, pe people, the population here are rather welcoming uh, this initiative. That's the end for today's live streaming. Back to you. Thank you.